What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to talk about all of the important news and I also wanna talk about a way in which you can take profits to potentially grow your bags in this market. This is one method that I personally used on the way up in the last bull market or the start of the bull market, as well as drawing the bear market to maximize the amount of crypto that I actually held for the least amount of investment. On top of that, we will also talk about the news that you need to know to be fully up to date today because we do have some one news and some good news and we are going to be going over of course the price action on Bitcoin we did just have a pump there above 23,000 but we were rejected remember nothing in this video is financial advice and let's just jump straight into it also bear in mind bear with me I'm sorry I don't have my camera on today I am back at home in England and I am just filming from a dark room right now so the camera doesn't look too good smash up the like button if you appreciate me still bringing you content each and every day even though I'm traveling around and it's freezing cold in England. Also, let me know down there in the comment section if you guys are here in England too. Damn, my feet are cold right now. But with that said, first of all, I wanted to just quickly point at this. JP Morgan says investors should sell stocks and take profits. Ugh, who actually listens to these guys right now? My first initial thought when I see these sorts of tweets and uh, news articles is that they're simply trying to find uh, liquidity, right? Because they want people to be selling while we're still near the bottom. Now, I'm not convinced that the bear market, both in equities and in crypto, is over right now. I do think there could be another leg down from where we are because really, we haven't seen the full effects of the recession and all of that sort of stuff, inflation, that have been uh, rampant in the markets for the last uh, few years now. And uh, I do think that we may still have more of a leg down. And what we're seeing right now, especially in Bitcoin, and of course in the overall markets, is what we saw back here in 2019. You can see we broke above the 200 MA, which has just happened right here. We broke above it here, and we actually had quite a huge move. From the bottom, it was around a 300% move there, 377. But from the break, which is essentially where we are right now, it was still another 200 hundred percent move so if we go here and we chuck this on and we see from this break and we do a 200 percent move you can see that would put us all the way up at around fifty thousand dollars for a bitcoin which is insane right i don't think we're going to go that high yet but these are the kinds of things that happened down here now we are in a similar time frame to when this happened also so do keep that in mind now with that said, the overall macro isn't looking good. So I do think that this is going to be a relief rally. And of course, the price is much higher here than it was here. So it take a lot more money to move the market. But that doesn't mean we can't have a sustained little relief rally here that gives the altcoin market a great rally here, which we are already seeing. We've seen a lot of gains recently. I came out with my top five videos for uh, January just a few, I think it was about a week ago now, all of which have seen insane profits. A few of them up over 100%. We actually saw TAP, which I spoke about, up 24% today, up around 2.5x, I think, from where I said it, and uh, from definitely from where I spoke about it in my Patreon. So if you guys do want to come over and join the Patreon, that gives you access to my private Discord and all of my calls and all of that sort of stuff. So the link is down there in the description, and you'll have direct access to me there. But with TAP, this is how I would uh, play about it right now. What you can do is when tap or any crypto that you're invested in, um, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, tap, uh, any, any altcoin, right? So don't take any of this as financial advice because this is just an example of the kind of thing I do to grow my bag. So when the price moves up, right, it moves up violently, what you can do is you can actually take some profits, right? You can take a little bit of profits here and you can hold them on the sidelines. Now this only works if you're okay with uh, the price to continue to rise and okay missing out on that, uh, uh, that price appreciation you could have had. But if you're all right with that and you are okay with maybe missing out on some gains, what you can do is you can sell a percentage around here when the market comes back down you can start to dollar cost average back into it and normally this happens when we have big price moves upwards we do have these pullbacks which is completely healthy so what you can do is you can use these movements to actually build your bags you can farm yourself coins just by simply taking some profits here and adding them on the dips. This can give you significantly more upside as long as you have a long-term outlook. The way I'm looking at TAP right now is that it could show us you know, a 10 to 20X uh, uh, 
when we move into the next bull market. That's what I'm looking for. There's a potential for a lot more than that, but that would be the conservative side that I'm kind of looking at here. And uh, I'm willing to take that risk. Of course, it could go to zero. So do pay attention to that. If you do want to sign up to tap and actually use the platform itself, there's a link down there in my description. This is not a sponsored uh, post here on the channel. This is simply, I've used the app and now I'm posting it uh, so you guys can use my referral. You get one pound worth of Bitcoin when you do sign up as well. And the fees are really good over there. So I'll definitely suggest checking Checking them out and of course the gains have been really good but heading over to Bitcoin here we can see right now 22,700 playing very very closely here you can see this run up we just had there I think right now Bitcoin is looking relatively bullish I do think we could make another move upwards before we move downwards you can see that it's very hard to actually predict this and uh, on the smaller time frames you can see here we were in this rising wedge here and we did break out of it but it was clearly a fake out even with a retest here a lot of people would have been uh, getting involved in shorts around this region only to then be completely liquidated and have it pump significantly from there so as we speak right now 22,700 really showing strong signs of a potential move upwards but of course we can be faken out at any moment so please do if you are trading you can trade over on bitget you can get up to a ten thousand dollar bonus down there in my description if you do follow those links but please please only trade if you know what you're doing and you have your stop losses and you don't get liquidated because if you get liquidated you're just going to become part of this data here 150 million dollars worth of liquidations so don't just become another statistic apply proper risk management use your stop losses and stay safe out there with that said moving on to a little bit of news we have a whopping nine percent of bitcoin supply last moved at 16,500 i actually bought myself some bitcoin at mid 15,000 i'm very happy with that buy let me know down in the comment section the last time you actually bought bitcoin and if you are happy with that buy but right now will clemente doubts those that were buying down there which is me included are looking to sell after just a 30 to 40 percent move that's exactly it. I'm not really looking to sell my Bitcoin here. Potentially taking profits from altcoins is definitely on the cards, but Bitcoin, not so much. So he's suggesting that the people that were buying, this is almost 10% of the supply down there at 16,500, probably aren't planning to sell on anytime soon. So maybe we won't have a huge pullback from here. I do think that a healthy retest of potentially down here at 20,300 or a little bit lower at the high 19,000s here is definitely still on the cards. And that's still, as you can see, a clear uptrend from where we were. What we would really want to hold here is the 20,600 mark to give us a real clear uptrend happening, which would give us also a nice higher low there for a healthy correction. On top of that, let's go through some of the news that we're seeing today. Indian Minister says crypto transactions are fine as long as they follow the laws so like we've been saying India China flip-flopping on what they've been saying creating fun creating FOMO it's just it's wild right so I would just completely ignore this sort of stuff I think that eventually pretty much all countries are going to be cool with Bitcoin and we do have a little bit of FUD here to be paying attention to Binance backing partner to ban crypto trading transfers under a hundred thousand dollars so that's clients banks facing fear operations with Binance will not be able to trade crypto through swift transfers of less than a hundred thousand dollars now this is only one of their fiat banking partners signature bank but this will be starting on the 1st of February I'm not sure this will have too much effect on the market but I would be watching out for other banks and other uh, service providers coming out with similar information uh, which could affect the markets with that said hopefully I did provide you with some value today if you do want to come over and chat to me come over and join the patreon and I will of course see you guys in the next video